so Uncle Mustache has hooked me up. And I don't know what's gonna happen if Bonnie sees the pig. We might have a little rodeo here. <laughs> he said, hold on, cause this ain't gonna be good. <laughs> Good morning, Elmo. Coming for ya. What do you say? Huh? What do you say? Anything? Anything good? Got it. Got it without spilling it. That requires a little bit more art and science. I need to give you a little more. Look out, monkey doodle. Alrighty. Did you sleep well? The sun's shining this morning. That's a nice thing. saw the pig go by. The pig went by again. And Bonnie is outside. And I don't know what's going to happen if Bonnie sees the pig. We might have a little rodeo here. <laughs> piggy, piggy, piggy. Where you going, piggy, piggy, piggy? Piggy. Where you going? Where you going? Bonnie has not seen the pig. Bonnie must not have even smelled the pig. The pig is stopping. I know this is highly entertaining for y'all, but it is for me. <laughs> Bonnie smells something, but no, she just wants water. You missed the pig, Bonnie, it's over there. It's going to church. You have a good snout on you. I'm surprised you haven't smelled it. You don't see it? Do you see that pig? You don't see that pig? <laughs> you see it? Wait. Where is it? It's over there, Bonnie. By the church. Yeah. Okay. No pig bunny rodeo today. So that's obviously, it's not a wild pig. Lawrence says it looks like it's got partial pot belly in it. And I don't know what else. But I mean, we've had wild hogs here before on the river. That was a long time ago. And 
they did a lot of trapping and getting rid of them because um, they can really tear some mess up. Luckily, we haven't had them in years. But anyway, these there's several of these that are running around the neighborhood. <laughs> there's been sightings everywhere, so I can now say I've seen the seen the the neighborhood pig, one of them. Hey babe, it looks like those old burn bibs in that coat have seen better days. Yeah. You think it's time for some new ones, maybe? I think so. Maybe. We'll see what we can do. How'd you do that? <laughs> All right. New burn workwear. That coat is awesome, isn't it? Yeah. It is really nice. No holes, no rips. Mm. How do you feel? You feel like a brand new man? I don't know how you done it, but it's good. <laughs> special powers all right y'all it's a cold one it's a cold morning um i got a really amazing gift from a viewer who doesn't want me to call out his real name but he says his his grandchildren nieces and nephews call him mustache so uncle mustache has hooked me up with a gopro and all the accessories it was one he had that he didn't use anymore that was basically never used. And I'm so excited to try it out. And I mean serious, serious accessories. All the things, all the things that I have no clue what to do with. Um, he did send books. But I will say that my daughter, my nine-year-old daughter, um, wait, nine? Yeah, she just turned nine. Uh, has put all this together. And played around with it. And I think we've got it somewhat figured out. So maybe I'm going to strap it to my head this morning. And give it a go. We'll start We'll start GoProing. Maybe. If I can figure it out. Okay. Let's see how this works. Muddy bibs. GoPro. Toboggan. I don't even know where to look. And I don't even know what it's recording. But I guess I'll find out. Let's go feed Elmo. Hey, Bonnie. Show everybody your nose. I wonder if this is showing. I better use this just in case. Bonnie has been burying a groundhog. She got a, and now she's trying to rub it off on me. I mean, really, Bonnie, look at your nose. Where did you bury it? Are you gonna show us? No, I'm gonna try to get this dirt off of my nose. Have you ever? Come here, Bonnie. Bonnie. Come here. Let me see. <laughs> Come here. She's trying to wipe it, wipe it off. What have you done? Ew. I don't <laughs> want it. I don't want it on me. You are a silly puppy. All right. I've got to I've got to help her this morning to go feed feed Elmo. It's cold, isn't it? It's in the 20s. It's very cold. <sighs> Brother has gone rabbit hunting with a friend, right? Mm -hmm. You and Daddy just took him, dropped him off. I slept all the way now, here. you slept all the way here. You slept all the way here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, y'all! It's like 15, 12 miles <laughs> away. All right. Me and Daddy are going to go feed cows, and then we're going to get hay. We're going to pick up a load of hay. So, it's going to be a productive day, I hope. Oh, we hear you, Elmo. Is that good, buddy? Yes, yes, it is. Thank you very much. Is this thing working? I guess it is. A little light's flashing. Are you cold? My nose is numb. You're froze. Your nose is. Your nose is numb. A numb nose. <laughs> then you should go back in. Me and Daddy are going to feed. Bye, Alma. We'll see you later, Gator. Logging up. That's a mess, Bonnie. Squeaky Susie. She's a little squeaky. <laughs> it's frozen this morning, y'all. So, 
that is good and bad. <sighs> All right, I'm on back. A little bit. Okay, I can make that work. Now y'all can see what I do since I don't have to hold the phone. All right, can go up a little bit. Oh, that one doesn't fit in there. Come on, y'all. Coming slowly. hold on because this ain't gonna be good <laughs> don't have to duck hey limbs oh yeah Woo. hey BB why weren't you at the gate huh Okay, maybe not really frozen. Hey, Panda! Hey, pretty girl! You ready for breakfast? Wait, can you move up a hair? Thanks. Move up a little more. Okay. Come get it, girl. All right, we're done. Sorry for all the sniffling. days I've been slipping and sliding. 
Anyway, Chevy is getting some gas. He said it was about as low as my truck stays, which is typically on empty. I have an issue with that, and I know it bugs a lot of people. It bugs him. I mean, it bugs me, especially if I've run out, which I haven't done. I think it's been a couple years now. I haven't twice in one week, and I tried to get try to get better about it. I have. Yeah. Now they're eating. <laughs> Decided they'd come get breakfast. Gotta give her a jump this morning. It's too cold, <laughs> for sure. Come on. Also, there's the silage pit. You can see it's almost gone. It's getting really close to the back, to the end. Really close. I was afraid it wasn't going to start. <laughs> hey, um, someone was asking about the silage the other day, so I just showed it. It's almost gone, isn't it? How much longer you think? Is there... Got enough to last the end of this month. Hopefully to the end of this month, which is another two weeks. I don't know. That's all that's left. Here's hoping. And um, the last several years, we've had this similar situation to right now, where the weather kind of warmed up a little bit and the grass started coming out and then it freezes like it did this morning and you're saying you're worried that that would stun it again right yeah start growing then it turns real cold and give you the grass growing blades it just won't shoot ahead and make seed right doesn't get tall and then and it sets it back too too cold <laughs> then too dry come July and August right yeah oh well farming well in in true fashion something's broke the backhoe was pouring oil out he said so he couldn't load the silage so now he's gonna put the bucket on the tractor load it that way it's always something doing muddy nose doll. I have to clean you up, monkey. Oh, just look at all that. Look at all that. Look at all that mud on you. Was that really worth it? To bury a groundhog? Evidently. It was to a blue dog. <laughs> Are you thirsty, Bonnie? It's frozen, isn't it? What a smart puppy. It looks like a very good water source. <laughs> Y'all, she has fresh water at the house, I promise you. All that groundhog made her thirsty. Is that what it is? He's thinking, he's always thinking. Pull those pins back. Now, drop it down. Get it off. Hopefully. <laughs> Should have kept my good 
GoPro on. Be the tractor driver. You learn one day, maybe you'll get this. <laughs> <laughs> 